Hey everyone, it's been a really long time and I really apologize for neglecting my YouTube videos but I thought this would be a good time to share with you guys a few or actually a lot of my favorites. I'm just going to share with you guys my shoes I'm wearing. You can change the look um, with this fur thing here um, and with the fur it just looks like that so it's really cute. I just felt like starting off with fragrances. Um, why I'm really excited about this one here. This is a Victoria Beckham signature. And I think this smells like amazingly good. So it smells very sweet. Has a bit of a floral smell, but it's not musky at all. I have been wearing a lot of muskier or witty kind of smells. But this one is light and sweet. So this is a good summer um, perfume. And this perfume I am extremely excited to share with you guys. So this right here is my Swarovski perfume. And this is the Swarovski, um, the one who makes like jewelry and stuff. So it's really cute because it has like an encrusted like diamond thingy thingy there. And this is 50ml. And it just looks like that. This has more of a musky smell, and you can apparently get refills for this. And I think the refills is about $75, so you don't have to throw out your thingy, because this is like a collector's piece. So look how gorgeous that is. So these are my two favorites. I know I have been raving from all my foundations. I haven't changed my mind about any of my foundations. I still love it, but right now... These ones are my ultimate favorites. So I have been really in love with my Lancome here. This is Taunt, Taunt Idol. And this is um, Enduringly Divine and Comfortable Makeup. 14 hour retouch free. And this is extremely matte. Maybe it's sometimes a little bit um, too matte around this area of my face. I think this is more of my dry area. And here everywhere else it's like really oily. So I've discovered that this is really matte, it's really good, it's a very full coverage and I find it's a little bit light for me but I just have to mix it in with a little bit of my other foundations and it look, works really well. Next is a foundation I'm wearing, this is another favorite of mine and it's Estee Lauder. This is double wear stay in place makeup. So I have worn this at school today. It has really good coverage as well. Um, it's not as matte as this one, the Lancome one. This has more of a watery feeling. Um, it's stay in place makeup. I do think it does hold true to that. It hasn't smeared on me at all and it's not that oily. But um, if you want a really matte finish, I would go with Lancome or Chanel. Those are one of the best matte um, high-end foundations. Of course, with foundations, it's also important to have an off over face powder, and I have been in love with this. This is my Anasui, Anasui, um, what's this called? Loose powder. It's colored loose powder, and I love the packaging. You just have to love this packaging. Isn't it gorgeous? Because it's all black. It comes with like a purple puffer. Um, you can use a brush all over face powder brush to apply it on your face but sometimes when I'm in a rush I just literally just use this purple puff I just push down on the mesh screen there and it just perfectly mattifies my face um, I just wish this was more travel friendly I don't think this is very good for travel and I'm in shade 702 next is a blush that I have been using every single day um, I really love this it's from Dior and it's from the limited edition or limited collection. Um, this is Rose Vintage Vintage Pink. It just has this packaging. It comes with this kind of velour packet thingy. I always put it in there just to protect the packaging because it's so pretty. And the color looks like this. You can tell I use it. Maybe you can tell now. Ooh. During summer, I wanted to take advantage of wearing nail, nail polish because um, in nursing, we can't wear it during clinical. These three ones. And these are quite affordable. First of all, this one is a pale, it's a pale kind of yellow. And this is called light yellow. 
and it's only 380 from Forever 21. Next is from Gosh. Gosh has to be one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. Hands down beats OPI and it beats China Glaze. Um, it beats Essie for sure. And it's like half its price, well maybe not half its price, but it's like seven dollars. Um, what I love about this, it's fast drying. It applies smoothly. Um, it has a more of a, a fatter brush. The color selections are really awesome, so you're bound to find something that's perfect for you. Here is another one from Forever 21. This is kind of like a nude color, and it's called nude. But it's um, scented, you can tell. And it truly is scented. Um, even just from opening the bottle, you can slightly smell it, aside from the strong alcohol smell. But it does smell like ginger, especially when you apply it on your nails. I know there's lots of eyeshadow fanatics out there, so I want to share with you guys all the eyeshadows I have been wearing during the summer. These ones here, these are my Rockin' Republic eyeshadows. Um, these are the only ones I have, and these were my favorite for the month of July, I can say. And the color payoff is incredible, I love it. So it just looks like that. And these were on sale on Oatlook.com for I think 6 or $7 or so. And here's another one. This is a nice neutral brown. Um, this is called Ammo. This one here is called Wrath. So it's more of a darker brown, plummy brown. Another favorite of mine that I have like is this one right here. It's my Lancome eyeshadow palette, the color design. And this is in Bones Amour. So, it comes with those beautiful colors. You can tell I have been using it and abusing it. Um, another favorite I really like is from Chanel. I keep it in a box um, because I'm afraid of losing this little brush here. Uh, so this little brush, it's like saturated with color right now. It comes with it, which I think is really awesome that Chanel did that. What it, this is is the, that Illusion d'Ombre and this is in the 83 Illusoire. So it comes in this packaging like this. Um, I fell in love with this color immediately. See, It's kind of like um, a dark taupey um, purplish color. So you can make this in, into a nice smoky look lately. I have been in love with my Antique Velux Pearl MAC eyeshadow called Antique. I love it because it's like a rusty reddish brown. I don't know if you can tell. Let's show you. I love it, these rusty colors. It's kind of similar to one of my Rock and Republic eyeshadows. From the summer collection from the MAC Me Over, um, I have the Carbonized um, Velux Pearl as well. I love Velux Pearl eyeshadow. It's very like much darker. It has a gray kind of tone to it. I keep my lippies last like usual. I'm still a lippy fanatic so that hasn't changed. So I guess I'll share with you what I'm wearing my, with on my lips right now. It's also part of my favorites. And this is um, Jersey Rose. It's from Chanel. And I love how it has a nice light pink color. It's nothing overwhelming or anything like that, which I love. Um, the one I'm wearing with this, though, is this kind of candy-colored Chanel lip gloss. It's an Aqua Lumiere, and this is in number 67. I have been wearing a lot of coral on my lips. I would do like a new, very neutral naked eye look, and then I would pair it with this lipstick from Gosh. The packaging looks like this, and this is called Sunrise. And I like I use this a lot. See, it's the the creamy color in the middle. The other one's like an eyeshadow. It's very light. I think it's very summery. I did wear lots of nudes during the summer, just because I wanted to keep my reds for the fall. So I was wearing lots of this. Um, it's getting kind of short now. This is Hue. It's a glaze. It's like a really baby pink kind of color. Just have a nice wash of pink on my lips. But I really missed you guys so much. Thank you guys for being so patient and thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to all my old subscribers who have stayed with me. Guys, bye!